Well, hey everybody, welcome to Photography Tips and Tricks. This is the place where you're gonna learn about tips, tricks, gear, anything that we can talk about to help you take your photography to the next level. <laughs> I am really excited about today. I'm Pete Collins, one of the photo guys here at Kelby One, and we've got a special guest, Matthew Jordan Smith. If you don't know about Matthew, you will by the time we get through with this, and you're gonna to run to his website to check out his stuff, because it is phenomenal. And the great thing is, is he's got a brand new book out, and I'm gonna hold it up right here. And <laughs> this is awesome. You're gonna love the subject of this, but also the photographs. It's just, it's the complete package. And uh, thank you. Welcome so much. It's a pleasure thank you being, for being here. here. Thank you. Yeah, uh, and, and for the people that don't know, this book is called The Future American Presidents, where you have gone around all 50 states. Every state. And in you've the country. taken pictures of uh, future, possible future presidents, the kids telling what they would be like as president, and it's amazing. But I don't want to. I don't want to hog the the limelight here. I <laughs> want to put it on you. I want to have you share with our folks about this. And also, you took a special lighting setup all throughout to get Absolutely. the same consistency. Yes. So I wanted you to talk about that just a little bit too. Well, first, the idea for the book is is not so much that it's a. Uh, um, really future presidents. It's really the idea of planting the seed in these kids. It's kids 12 and younger. And I want to inspire them to believe that they can do anything in the world. So the idea was to, to go to every state and photograph kids from 100 families. And uh, it was a journey that I loved doing. Uh, it was important for me to try to find children and plant that seed and inspire them through photography. And I also want to make sure that the entire project had the, the thumbprint of being a, a high-end production. So this is why I, I carried my lights with me, my pro photo strobes with me everywhere I went. So everywhere from the first state, you know, Delaware to, to Alaska and Hawaii has that same feeling throughout the entire shoot. Yeah, and just for people that don't know, this was his personal project. This was something yes. that was really rooted in his heart. And we've talked about that before. You've got to follow your passion. And, and that's what I love about this. This is where he pursued it and then it became what it is today, but it was your personal project. Absolutely. And, and, and you can see the passion come out. It's just a phenomenal idea. Uh, We've got gear folks out here that want to know <laughs> what the pro photo gear was you used and why. I like how you talk about it needs to be something that has that, that differentiates you. And so you thought about that when you went out there. I did, I did. I wanted to make sure that, uh, or even when they had the idea, I think that today especially, anybody can take a picture with, with an iPhone, with, with anything. But I think as a professional photographer, you need to have that consistent vision throughout. And uh, whether it's, you know, snowing or raining or, or, or cloudy, I want to make sure that every picture has that same thumbprint. So this is the reason why I chose to bring strobes with me everywhere. And I used the ProPhoto uh, 7 beads with me to go everywhere. Um, you've, got, you've actually got some, some, some behind the scenes shots. I do, a lot. And, and I noticed you're using MyLeo to pull those. How do you like MyLeo? I love MyLeo. I mean, I live with this all the time. I, I, I'm having, on the plane, I have this with me going through editing, going through all my images. It's the best thing in the world. So <laughs> Let's see a couple behind the scenes stuff. So behind the scenes, here I am. Uh, with a lot of the different kids everywhere. So I'd stop strangers. So the, the thing about this project was so great is I'm stopping strangers while they're on vacation and asking the parents, can I photograph their kids? And uh, here's one of the children writing about what she would do as president. And this is actually in uh, the Dakotas. Here with one of the other, other kids as well. And you've included these in your books. The, 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 the stories, the letters they wrote go along with the picture. There. Absolutely. So you see in the book, it has what the kids have written and then all explanation and the photo that comes with it as well. So here I am with the strobes. You can see here that I'm using, carrying around my, my lighting gear everywhere I went. Lighting each person. There's no like assistant. It's just me carrying all the gear. But it was important that I had all these images had that same feeling throughout the entire shoot. Um, that consistent vision. I like the light looking the same. I want it to feel like it's uh, like it's sun, so I chose to use a pro photo magnum reflector because it's it's reminiscent of the sun. Mm -hmm. And I can I can change my angle. I can make it harder, softer. It's just a beautiful light, and it's consistent 
everywhere. And now I see you've got you've got uh, your battery pack, you've got your C stand, you've yes. got all that. How'd you get? You were by yourself. You didn't have any help. So how was that carrying all that stuff? Well, I'm, I'm a big guy, and uh, it was it was my workout actually <laughs> <laughs> to carry all the C stand, all the gear, and uh, and I loved it. You know, today on a commercial job, it's, it's a big crew. Um, they could be like very easily, you know. 30, 40 people on a, on a set. So there's assistants carrying all the gear. But in the beginning of my career, you know, 28 years ago, it was me carrying all the gear. So this was actually me going back and almost like, uh, you know, going back to that stage of having to do it all yourself. And I love that. It puts you, it puts you in the driver's seat of every part of the production. Uh, I'm doing all my own metering, carrying all the lights, you know, but I love that stuff. I think it's very important that everybody has a personal project um, away from what you do for a living because with your personal projects, it's, it's really the essence of you, of your photography, of your soul. And this project, Future American President, is, is the essence of that. It's a, a way to inspire people. Well, I also love uh, that you had those lights. One of the reasons why you had that light set up is because you wanted to make the children feel like they were on a commercial shoot. You've Absolutely. done some of the most incredible commercial shoots out there that we're going to check out in just a second. But you wanted them to feel like what it's like to be the spotlight. Absolutely. And that was part of the gear choice and all. It, so we've talked about this before. Always have your subject in mind and what you're trying to communicate, not only to the viewer, but also to who you're taking pictures of. And that's why I'm so excited about this project. Make sure you <laughs> check out this book, but also if you want to find out more, go check out his website, and it's MatthewJordanSmith.com, and especially for this book, slash Future American Presidents. Uh, mm -hmm. Just wonderful stuff in there. You'll go see his celebrity portraits, all the stuff in there, but it is such a privilege to have you here. Okay, now we're going to take a quick little break, but if you're watching this on YouTube, please go over and check out the Kelby TV site so that you can see the second half of this, where I've got a tip on composition for you over there. Wow. So we're going to take a short break. We'll be right back. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you in just a minute. <laughs> 